October 26, 2020 marks the final day for my RL craft series. But before I died, I was able to at least gain these last few footage of what should have been episode 3 that I worked really hard for in between episodes. How's it going everybody? My name's Wayne. Before we start on this episode, I want to just say, if you guys want to see this uh, series continue on, hit the like button. If this is your first time seeing this, hit the subscribe button. In the last episode, we got ourselves access to the rock, uh, not the rock, to the, uh, there you go, there you go. Uh, last episode, we got ourselves access to this Ventoraptor and the finally rock. Now, <laughs> mine did die last time, so I had to get a new one. Now, to make long story short, I planned this episode to be more of a montage of taking down battle towers that I marked on my atlas which can be obtained in battle towers or by combining a compass with a book and quill, which is really helpful considering how bad I was on mapping. But then this happened. Ooh. Oh, what the? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Birdie, get over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not what I thought of. This is not what I thought of. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. This is so not good. Oh, no. I don't know what spawns. I don't know what spawns. Oh, no. Yo, it is not good. This is so not good. This is so not good. Sleep, sleep, sleep it off, sleep it off, sleep it off, sleep it off. I don't know what's gonna spawn. I have no idea what's gonna spawn. Yo, this is bad. This is bad. Yo, that's bad. Yo, no, 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 that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Yep, yep, yep. I know. Yep, I know. This is bad. This is bad. Yep, this is bad. This is really bad. Yep, yep, yep. That's really bad. That's really bad. Yeah, I got this one. Yo, what is that? Yo, what is that? No, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh gosh. That's bad. That would have been very bad. Oh my gosh. Oh what? Oh what? Everything's here as well. Oh shoot. That's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh my gosh. Oh no 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 why 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 now my idea was that I was supposed to go back to the tower that I was before I recalled. But unfortunately, I died to a freaking dragon and lost all my items. And what was worse was that I wasn't recording! Well, that's it for today guys, see you guys next time, bye! The game welcomed me with Happy Halloween. Well you better be ready, cause trick or treat, and I'm hungry. Since I lost my items to the dragon and without my map, I was hopeless. I was better off making a new world, and I thought of a great name this time. And without any cheats, cause cheats for noobs, I started my hunt. Knowing that my afterlife was due to a dragon, my blood called for nothing but revenge. In this video, I'll be explaining things that I didn't really explain well like experience management, strategies, game logic, and other stuff. Now, I was very lucky to spawn in the village. Always try to spawn in the village, but avoid the cold and jungle biomes because they aren't good for a start, and I'm dead lag. So from there, I went ahead and checked my surroundings. Two big things that I noticed were an archer tower and a battle tower, which were really really helpful early on. With a good spawn, I grab my waystone to save my spawn point. Waypoints can be found in villages and sometimes in random places. From there, I just did the basics with making a wooden pickaxe and something you can do in this game is convert wool to string, which I made for bandages. From here, I noticed that there were cows, which was really good. Then I took 16 cobblestone from the well. Specifically the well, because I will be needing the water to drink and because it's free cobble. Here, I made me a stone rapier, shield, stone pickaxe, and axe and a fishing rod which will be used for my strategy. This strategy needs bows and arrows which is why that tower was huge. When you see a mob with colorful particles, this is a special mob, which can have different buffs and drops more XP than normal mobs. It will also drop at least one item and WHAT?! With this strategy, get your agility to 2 first, then 4 on gathering to use the bow and fishing rod. From here I was just checking my surroundings till I saw the skeleton which led me to my next objective which means hunting down chickens. Now I got this egg which gave birth which was really nice. In just one day, I got more done than my two episodes. Next day, I noticed a random waypoint guarded by a pixie, so I killed it. But then this Halloween treat came and reminded me of the pre-life. By pressing L, you can access three boxes. Get the sword one which will give more aim speed killing mob. Don't mind the sub boxes, that will be for later episodes. Anyways, with the treat in my hand, I had no choice but Yay. Next was to collect leather for a saddle. Now I noticed that the branch was blocking the mobs making a temporary EXP farm. 
My goal is to get my magic to 8 so that I can make phase 2 of the hunt. Not the smartest play. If you see a mob with an abnormal HP count, it will guarantee a backpack with loot, which is what happened here, which is really good. I got me another tweet and... Nothing I couldn't handle with revenge in my mind. Hey, another dream! Wandering out again, I found me my first proper battle tower. Thanks, zombie, but goodbye. And with that, a good sleep. Getting closer to the tower made me find a desert bite, which was good because I got me a joust and a waypoint. My mistake for staying up too long. Joust meat will be needed for the cause, along with the chicken that I got from the egg. All for the avian trick needed to fly. I stopped here because you may have noticed four blocks of iron. I got that from the trick or treat, which I was too lazy to find the clip, but it's there. Anyways, I got the iron, which I needed to make me my saddle. Night one and the venture raptor jumped on me, but I was focused on getting a rock, so I killed him. Next day, I was opening some more treats to see if I could get something good. Apparently not. But this was something else. It was a mini boss that I tried to kill but then it disappeared. Oh, I didn't like the guy anyways. Then I blew up. Coming back to the backpack, I got me gold which made me skip the fishing rod and bow strategy, giving me access to the summoning bar. Night 2 and there it was, the rock. Slept early, got on, and now we hunt. I just want to show you all what the strategy was. Holding the rapier while Aegis are summoned using the wand will give the Aegis more damage. This will give more EXP than the fishing strategy which we need. Now we hunt. Eyes don't deceive me. I have finally taken down the very thing that killed me using my Aegis and a bow that I got from the towers. I marked down this victory and took everything like it did to me. Now with all the items that I got from hunting down battle towers and villages, we can now craft some of the most powerful items in the game. 
dragon scale chess piece, the stone of the sea, dragon bow, rapier and bow, with the blood of a dragon for extra fire damage, and last but not the least, the dragon's eye, and with that, my soul can now rest. If you guys like this little thing I whipped up, help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe button. It takes less than a second, without further ado, I will see y'all.